this writer that I knew who won a Whiting Writers Award the same year I had. Oh, God. Yeah. So, so there I am. Mm. I'm sitting there. Yeah. And I've been on a rostrum with this guy, having Holy Eudora shit. Welty give us an award. Mm. Two years later, I'm sitting there. It's the first time I remember ever yeah. actively, like, diving under something to have somebody you, avoid what, you dove under me. a table? Yeah, something Where, like really, that. Did you think you were done then? Oh, I thought life was over. I was pretty sure. And was this after your suicide watch? Okay, how do you know about that? I I read about it somewhere. Okay. This is McLean's, right? How yeah. long were you there? I was there for eight days. And why were you there? Because I was probably afraid that I would do something stupid. Okay. I had a friend in high school yeah. who tried to kill himself by sitting in a garage with the car running. And what it turned out was he didn't die. Mm -hmm. Just really fucked up his brain. And I, you know... I knew that if anyone was fated to fuck up a suicide attempt, it was me. Okay. So, so all right. So there you are. You're still in your twenties. My late. 20s. <laughs> okay. Your late twenties, and you're in uh, some kind of pain about your desire to become some sort of successful literary. I person. think that the not very sophisticated diagnosis is that I was depressed. Okay. okay. At that point, my ego was all tied up in my writing. Mm -hmm. It's the only thing that I'd gotten any sort of like food pellets from the universe for, and I felt very trapped. Like, uh-oh, my five years are up, and I gotta move on. I don't want to move on. And I felt stuck. And it's not like I felt stuck because I drank, okay? It was like... I felt like my life was over at 28, and I felt really bad. I did not want to feel that, and so I did all sorts of stuff. I would mm -hmm. drink real heavy. I would fuck strangers. Mm. Sometimes I would not drink at all, not drink at all for like two weeks, but instead I would like run 10 miles every morning in a desperate, like a very American, I will fix this somehow by taking radical action sort of thing. And here you are promoting this acclaimed book. That's not bad. David, this is nice. This is not real. <laughs>